Hey everybody, this is Adam Mom with Adam Mom Breaks, and it's time to do another review. You can see the books behind me. That means that. And guess what? We're going to review Topps Chrome Composite, or Topps Composite. There's Chrome in it, there's Chrome Black, Ginter, uh, Archives, uh, Gallery, lots of various sets, uh, several that we don't have anymore, several that we do. Um, but uh, let's check it out. I, I was kind of a, not a fan of this when it first came out or when they were doing the pre-sale. I was like, ah, it's a money grab. Then I saw the cards. Then I saw some odds. And there I think there's some good value here, um, especially if these cards turn out to be worth something. They're unlicensed. So let's let's do a deep dive into it and see what we can find. Let's go. All right, like I said, Topps Chrome Composite, and there's what a box looks like. We're going to look at the formats. What are the different formats? What do the cards look like? They released a lot of the cards, which was pretty smart for this one. Uh, we're also going to compare what the hit odds are per format, auto odds, cost per box, and then look at comparison of rookie auto odds to other base auto odds. That's kind of important because that's the big draw here. Hey, we've got three of the four rookies you can't get autographs of. Um, and or you could get limited through leaf uh, and actually let's see tops excuse me chronicles draft had some too they had bryce young i know and cj stroud i'm not i don't think will levis was ever in there so what are the formats what is the format hobby box 12 packs eight cards per pack 12 box cases three autos per box i kind of like this not a ton of packs you're getting three autos, which is nice. Uh, I have seen some that are going to be on card, is what it looks like. Um, Breakers Delight. This is, of course, the, the premium high-end stuff. One pack, ten cards per pack, ten boxes per case. Three autos, one geometric parallel, and six refractors per box. These, to me, you have the same number of autos. Yeah, you get some numbered cards, but man, the price jump on that is a little much. Mega box, six packs, 10 cards per pack, 20 box cases. And you do have some exclusive inserts, uh, parallels. I, that's really what they are. The exclusive inserts are parallels, X Fractor, blue, orange, or sparkle. Uh, Blaster, kind of the same thing. You got the sepia and pink, and also sky blue and pink shock. Uh, you have eight packs per box, uh, eight packs per box, five cards per pack. 40 box cases hangers um, there were one pack I did see somebody that was listing these at 20 cards per pack and usually there's 64 boxes per case and these are gonna have a purple and yellow parallel and we'll go through what each one kind of can give you as well so what is in the set there's 11 base sets think of Chronicles and Panini 450 total cards um, there's chrome resurgent resurgent rookies uh, so you know Resurgent isn't going to have the normal rookies in it. Chrome Black, Finest, Cosmic Chrome, Midnight, Heritage, Gallery, Ellen and Ginter, and Archives, which was on the odds, but not on the checklist tops released. But I've seen a box open. Somebody opened one early or late last night, and I watched it, and there was some Archives in there. So there is Archives. I'm assuming it's the missing 25 to make 450. Uh, parallels, they're tons, and they're not the same. Chrome has 33, Resurgent 25. That includes the rookies. Chrome Black has 13. Finest, there's three different, the common, uncommon, and rare. And there's 22 parallels there. There's Cosmic Chrome, nine parallels. Midnight has eight. Heritage, five. Gallery, five. Archives and Ginter also have five. So you can kind of see the Heritage Gallery, Alan and Ginter, and Archives are kind of the low end stuff you're going to see a lot more in the uh, uh, retail stuff whereas the other stuff you're going to find it in there too but it's going to be also a lot more prevalent in hobby is what it seems inserts there's 14 insert sets eight base insert sets and six case hit short print insert sets there's 1973 all etch resurgent voltic 
grounded modern artist portrait gallery flashbacks heritage and spotless spans um there are various or no parallels with some of these like flashbacks and heritage don't have any but the rest are pretty much green gold blue orange red superfractor give or take some of those have some variants there but that's basically what you're getting uh, you have the short print insert sets, Radiant Rookies, Let's Go, Dazzling Debuts, Urban Legends, Helix, Resurgent, Retro Vision. These, um, some are more difficult to hit than others. It really just depends on the format. Some have reds, some have superfractors as uh, parallels as well. So kind of cool. So what do they look like? So this is some of your base stuff. There's your base paper, Allen & Ginter, and Topps Chrome. Topps Chrome is going to be the majority or the major card that you're going to see. They didn't, at least in hobby, they didn't show uh, odds for a pull on a base Topps Chrome card. So that kind of gives you, okay, that's the base. That's the, the chronicles of this set. Uh, and then some nicer stuff. You have Finest and uh, Chrome Black as well. Um, very traditional looking uh, backgrounds on these. It's not the new finest. It's it's the more traditional one. And Chrome Black's always similar each year. Um, more of the cards. Here you go. We have Midnight, Resurgent. Now, Resurgent has a bunch of different ones. A gallery in Cosmic Chrome. Resurgent has those insert sets as well. Uh, base Resurgent isn't going to have the rookies in it. We'll kind of go through how many sets have rookies, how many auto sets have rookies as well. Um, more what they look like, because I think they did a good job. Modern Artist, I love it, has that Diamond Kings look. Uh, gallery, Heritage, and then there's the 1973 uh, inserts. Or I, actually, I don't think that's an insert. I think it's a base set. The flashbacks is the inserts. So here's the Voltic Spotless Spans and Dazzling Debuts. Dazzling Debuts is a case hit, um, and it's the rookies, basically, the, the four rookies. So uh, pretty hard to pull. I want to say it was like one in 600 uh, packs to pull it in in a uh, hobby, something like that. All right, autos. So there's five base autos. Chrome, Chrome Black, Resurgent, Resurgent Rookies, and Cosmic Chrome. Really, to me, there's only four because Resurgent and Resurgent Rookies, if you look at it, even the set is is based out, numbering all the same, and the rookies are all in the very back, but they're harder to hit. They have different odds. Parallels here, 18, 7, 16, 9, and 5. All over the place with the parallels. Um, this is something I wish they were a little more consistent about. Just be consistent with your parallel structure across them. Uh, you know, if, if it's the base set, maybe make it 20 or something. But if it's everything else, make it seven. So you kind of know. Now we're kind of all over the place. Auto relics. Now this was something interesting. So you have seven auto relic sets. You have these composite jumbo patches, autos, which are going to be horizontal and vertical. I'm assuming these patch autos are going to have game use material. Um, we are talking about Fanatics. They have all that ability to do it. Uh, composite patch autos, horizontal and vertical. Uh, you have the jumbo and just the normal patch. And then you have amped up RPAs, resurgent ignite RPAs, and resurgent patch autos. And those patch autos, um, yeah. So. Uh, there's your parallel structure too. I'm going to hop back up to the autos because I did forget to mention this. So the resurgent and the chrome are kind of your major ones. Resurgent really is your major one. That is, has the highest odds along with Topps Chrome to pull it. There are no rookies in the resurgent set. There are no resurgent rookies, but it has a much more harder to hit odds. Topps Chrome isn't as bad, but it is a harder hit to get than the resurgent resurgent you're almost guaranteed one per box um makes sense they don't want to give away all the strouds and and levis and and anthony richardson and bryce young's uh, so the autos this is the two that they gave us to look at cosmic chrome and cosmic black they did such a good job of kind of hiding everything here and not 
def defiling the uniform. The uniform still looks good. They just took the emblem off the helmet. Basketball was totally different. Basketball looks like trash. I really don't like the rookie symbol here. I know they don't have the PA license, which I think has licensing over the symbol. At least they don't have it yet. So kind of interesting. Uh, big reason to buy this is the rookies, of course. So here you can see in the base sets, uh, there are nine Strouds, Levis, and Young, and Richardson has 10. So he's in one more set than they are, which is interesting. Autos, they're all the same number of, of them in the sets, which is close to all of them. I think there's a total of 14 autos and relic autos, and so they're not in two of those sets. Again, one of those is resurgent, um, and because I I'd already mentioned, you're gonna get one of those per box. It's gonna limit the ability for you to pull them. And we'll get into the odds here shortly. This is how you get the odds. There was 13 pages of this stuff. Uh, it was a lot to go through, took a lot of time. So I appreciate a like, subscribe, all that good stuff to help me uh, recoup something out of the time. But I really do enjoy doing this. Um, Odds. Now, this is the interesting. This, is, to me, is the meat and potatoes of this set. You can see the pack odds across the top. Uh, Breaker's Delight, the same pack odds as the box odds. So here's the interesting thing. You're going to get possibly more autos and hobby. It looks like there's a chance to get uh, bonus autos because it's at 3.68. Where's my little cursor? We'll move the cursor around here. So you can see 3.68, 3.3 for Breaker's Delight. Now, Breakers of Light is going to have more of the premium stuff. And also, you're getting seven uh, total hits, so four numbered cards. Here, you're getting six numbered cards in a box. I'm really leaning towards just hobby. I wasn't going to buy a 600 box of Delight anyways, but hobby definitely seems like the way to go here. Non-base autos, basically the same here. Um, relic autos basically the same it kind of flips here so you have a better chance of getting something numbered out of hobby but you have a better chance of getting a relic auto out of delight which is about 75 percent of the time for both now here's the interesting thing one in four boxes will have a rookie auto not too shabby so you're getting about three per case because there's 12 well at least in hobby you're getting three per case over here you're getting uh or is that four? Four per case. No, three. And over here, you're getting about two because there's 10, 10 uh, boxes per case. Now let's look at the other's stuff. Blasters. Uh, one in three boxes is going to have a hit. Only 15% of the boxes are going to have an auto. And I can dare say they're going to be the resurgent auto and you're not going to be happy because it's going to be somebody you haven't heard of in a long time. <laughs> Rookie autos, 1%. Base non-autos, so numbered, 3%. I don't want any blasters, man. It's just going to be a bunch of base cards. Hangers, well, it's even worse. You say, well, they're cheaper. This is true. But are they going to be cheaper? Are they going to be $15 for a hanger? If they're $15 for a hanger, I think I'd rather just buy a blaster because I have a better chance at an auto. Because that would be two hangers which would only get me to 10%. And you can see the rookie odds here, two in a thousand chance. No, thank you. Megas, on the other hand, you're guaranteed at least one, I say guaranteed, per the odds, you're guaranteed almost two hits per box. Half of them, over half of them are gonna have autos, and 30% of those autos are gonna be uh, non-base. Now, the rookie autos, you're just not gonna see them in here. 3% of the time you're going to see them. So they're pushing those into hobby and delight. Just know that going in and it makes things a little easier to swallow when you're paying for these things. Because Tops really, to me, is gouging on the product. Uh, it's not licensed, so they're not paying any licensing fees. It's like we're having to pay for the licensing in the future. Because this is what this should come out when it's licensed for. I would think this would be more in the $200 180 range with three autos more along the lines of panini products because this is what it is it is a panini product all right let us look at the cost per uh 
auto and cost per hit. You can kind of see, we'll just bring them all up. The top line is your premium stuff with your hobby and delight. Um, there you're going to see, of course, um, that it's going to be cheaper per hit and per auto, which you would expect for hobby from the numbers we just saw. Um, but when you kind of put it in dollars and cents, it kind of hurts a little more. So you're looking more in that middle range to purchase these at this point. Uh, hobby, not so much. You're looking at the $300 range. Um, but I'm expecting it to go up just like everything else has with tops here lately. Um, that's just, that's a tough pill to swallow uh, for delight because you're going to pay right around 500 to $600 for these boxes. That's just, that's just insane for the amount what you're getting in it. Uh, blasters, megas, and hangers, unless they just had to pay a lot for the strouds to wrap them up, where they give them, you know, $10 million or something. And that's on you, fanatics, if you just overpaid for that to squash Panini. The old, there'd be like a paper on that. The Panini and Tops Fanatics card wars or something like the Coca-Cola wars. There's lots of uh, studies on that stuff. And then you can see down at the bottom, of course, we expect the Mega to be the best price. Um, the top price is kind of what I'm hoping they come out at. Megas are already around 60 to $65. Hangers, I'm expecting anywhere from 10 to 15 And Blasters, I want to say they're at $30. So you can see, if you're going for an auto out of that, it's not your best uh, spend of money goes by hobby but sometimes it's easier to take a $30 uh, check out of your pocket check that's funny $30 out of your pocket than spending 300 because um, technically uh, you can get one for cheaper than buying a box but you're going to have to buy six pack uh, six boxes of it so I don't know man I don't know so what does all this mean? High price for unlicensed product. That's the big thing for me. Sounds like a lot of this is gonna be left over and they're not just releasing this to everybody. I didn't get solicited for it. So it sounds like they're trying to keep it closer to them, give it to their breakers, give it to the people that are affiliated directly with tops, which is hard to do truthfully. Um, but the hype is real and the cards look awesome. I really do like them. I watched a guy open two Megas and they looked really good. Uh, retail looks good. Megas. Let's just say Megas. I really like the price of Megas and everything. Hobby is loaded and Breaker all, all, Breakers Delight always is too. But again, it's that cost. The so question is, truthfully to me, what will be the response by the hobby in the long run? Not the short run. We've already seen craziness with the Topps Chrome basketball release, Wimby's base cards going for $90 at, at release. And it's already half that probably by now. They're just flooding. I've watched Breakers pull, uh, do first looks on them, and they're pulling at least one per box, if not more. So um, it'll be interesting to see where all that sits. And what are the parallels? How can a, an unlicensed parallel go for more than a prism parallel or an optic or even anything elite? It's got his, his Spurs uniform on it, so I, I don't understand it. Anyways, all this is based on the pack odds, my opinion as well. Uh, the big boxes are expensive. They have big potential with this and a decent floor because of the numbered cards. But again, we really don't know the floor because we don't know how the hobby is going to react yet. So I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Um, most of that is because of the awesome job they did on the design and uh, not stripping down the uniforms. Can't show the emblem, that's great, but it still looks like a Barry Sanders photo, not someone that's in a you know practice uniform or something. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe. You can join us on our various other platforms. Facebook, whatnot is where we do some group breaks, as well as a website. Uh, we have a Patreon, Instagram, all that stuff. Uh, you can find that information in the description. Thank you as always, and be kind, be nice to those around you. And peace out.